Hi guys, my name is Means. This is going to be a review for the Digivolving Spirits and we have Agumon that turns into War Greymon. The first one out of the series. Although a friend of mine mentioned that there is something like this before, but this one is a lot more detailed and as we can see in the box, it does contain some die cast. Not a lot though. <laughs> and we'll see that on this review. So here we go, made by Bandai. I got mine from Tatsu Hobby. Provide the link down below if you're looking to get some from there. Here on the back side. Alright, so we got some die cast parts from the head, the chest, uh, the front skirt, as well as the knee. Then we have some plating, chrome plating for the claws. Alright, so the second one they're gonna release is Gabumon that turns to Metal Gururumon. So we'll see how this one turns out, then maybe I'll start collecting the line. It does have a pretty cool concept and I do like transformation. Kind of reminds me of the Leo. I forgot what it's called. The one from Monster Hunter that they did uh, a while back. It's all one of the. It's the Wyvern. Yeah, Leolios or something that turns into the uh, um, the Monster Hunter or the Warrior. So that's a really cool concept, and that is something similar to this one. All right. So I think that's pretty much it for the box. Let's take a look inside. Now this is quite interesting because out of the box, this is it. There's no other parts uh, around the, the clamshell. It's just a figure and in some ways that is great because everything is contained, self-contained and none of the parts are going to be you know, displays or whatnot or have to have a zippy bag somewhere. So in a way, I like that idea. Here's the instruction. It's double-sided all the way till you transform him to Agumon. Right. I guess we just uh, reverse the instructions to get back to our Raymond. So uh, let me get this out of here. There we go. Got some uh, quick unboxing there. <laughs> now uh, this is uh, a bit interesting in terms of the color that we're seeing here. Now I always have comments uh, regarding how Combine has a bit more uh, darker color. I kind of tweak my camera setting to, to have a high contrast, that way I get more colors out of it. So in a bit here I might have to kind of readjust my color again. But uh, quite interesting hmm. in terms of design and you can see the big giant face there. So not much on the back side, <laughs> there's a lot of... Yeah, the guts and stuff, but in front, it looks great. Interesting. Alright, so let's make a, a minor adjustments here before we continue with the review. Horn goes front, this goes up, and the spikes on the shoulder points outward. There we go. Alright, now we got War Greymon here. And the details are amazing. A die cast again, got the, I guess the crest here, or the helmet. The chest area, the front skirt, and the shin guards here. Now also certain parts like that one you can see the ball joint on the ankles are die cast as well. Now this is chrome plated. There we go. And uh, let's start with the head here for the articulation. So we got a, uh, what would I show, a ball joint there on the base of the head. Move side to side. There we go. So, but the hair it does kind of get some restriction there. Shoulder, we got a bull socket there. There moves around. You got a like a pin hinge right there. Now this thing is on a bull joint. You can move that around as well. Then you can move here. Then even here as well for like a bicep swivel. Depending on your positioning on to that elbow joint. You might get more or less uh, articulation. Like there we go. Probably get a 90 degree bend right there. Then you got your bulger on the wrist. Now this gauntlet or claw thing here is connected on the back side of the hand, so you got a little bit of movement there. You can fold this down, and you actually can move this. There's like a one click. It's kind of a weird thing. There we go. 
I'm not sure what the significance of that is, but it's there. <laughs> All right. Moving on, the torso, there's not much uh, articulation on that one. And that's partly because of the transformation, but there is a bit of a waist swivel. And here, let me see if I can kind of reach that. So here, you can move to the side here, and it's based on that hinge on the back side that lets you do that. There we go. I mean, this thing you can also move up if you want to, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's kind of like wings. Yeah, it does, doesn't look good on the back side. That's kind of freaky. <laughs> you got your side skirt here. It's on the hinge with a socket. Front skirt just pegs in. Then on to the legs, similar to how they are in, on the arms. Get some uh, articulation there. They actually are on that uh, die cast ball joint as well. So that might be a good thing. Swivel, knee bend, more swivels here. And uh, this one, the die cast, is actually pegging on here and ball jointed there. You can kind of see there's another joint inside, and that's for Agama later on. Then you got some an ankle articulation here. There we go. So uh, it's articulated, but I mean, certain posts you still kind of get uh, hindered down or, or some sort. All right, so let's just do this uh, post right here. Alright, so next up, we're gonna go over transformation. Alright, so for transformation, just bear with me. I've only done it once, and let's see if I still remember. <laughs> Alright, so first off, fold this back, fold this down, fold this backward here, like what we did earlier on. Now, this one, make sure it's all the way in the back. We're gonna dislocate the, his shoulder. You now, kind of pop that up and move this up. They're kind of interconnected both sides. Now there is like a tab or a peg over there which connects underneath there, holds it in place. But we're gonna shift this whole thing backward. All right. Now the next part, we're just gonna shift this down here a little bit. It's a bit tricky. It's where you put Agamon's uh, face in front. So we're just gonna position that here same thing here and that is there's a combination of sockets and hinges on the back side there all right so we're, we're just gonna go ahead and connect this there are pegs and uh, which connects to the other side so there we go this one too we're gonna go ahead and dislocate <laughs> his waist area there we go so uh, we want to make sure Let's see here, there we go. That it kind of aligns. And actually this thing, let's see here. All right, so make sure everything is locked in place. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and push this together. Now there's also a, a segment here that was an extraction because uh, you can actually shift this to the side, that hinge. So you make sure it's all the way in the middle. Gotta put everything together and there we go, we have the head part with some arms. <laughs> All right. So uh, next part here is we're gonna basically flip this around. Turn that. Sometimes this nail does pop off. So uh, just be wary of that. Or not wary, but be aware of that. Turn this around. around here here we go I may have to bend that a little bit more it's rather stiff all right and next part is this we have to kind of remove this pegged on the bottom side there we go we're gonna fold this up as well as rotate this whole thing up here do the same thing on the other side here we go Rotate it. Alright, we're making some progress. Then we gotta rotate this whole thing around. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and start. Uh, you can see his chest there. Moving this around. And let's see here. 
kind of hiding that section there and just covering it up <laughs> now there are some peg holes here that matches on those pegs onto the side panel including on the bottom side so this is the part where you're just gonna you know, try to push everything together and also there's a gimmick here I forgot you can push this down kind of close in the extra joint there we go just be careful yeah be careful you don't want to uh, have your art uh, the part slipped otherwise you might break something and as we continue here all right so just matching up those uh, tabs all right so this is not right there's something going on here all right Gonna make sure that they're all somewhat aligned there we go so I think that kind of works out uh, let's see what am I doing wrong here not connecting yeah I, I'm trying to get this thing uh, lined up so some of the hinges whoops that's what I'm afraid of. Sometimes the hinge is just stuck. Huh. Make sure everything is <laughs> where it's supposed to. It's a tight fit. All right, so uh, let me peg this in. There we go. And it's a, I'm trying to lock this in on here. It's not letting me. Sometimes you're supposed to go in a sequence. You cannot just jump. Well, you, you maybe you can, but all right. What is going on here? All right, let me uh, do that off camera. Otherwise, this is just gonna be too long. All right, so I just have to kind of push it in and make sure everything lines up. Is that a stress mark? Can I see something? Hopefully, it's not. All right, so uh, fold this up, and I guess start shifting the hinge there. <laughs> it's like a giant egg. So, uh, more or less, I think we got it. Although this side here is not uh, connecting properly like this side here. Alright, I think that's good enough. Alright, uh, let's see. It's probably a shift there. Then this one. We gotta realign the shoulder here. There we go. Alright. I'm not sure if you can. No, I think that's it. Just bend the uh, means. And we have Agamon. <laughs> there we go. It's kind of cute. Oh, actually, I forgot. This is where the part where you're gonna put that back. And maybe this time we're kind of. There we go. Get the claw a little bit. Alright. So, okay. Agamon complete. Now, in this mode, there is some limitations. Uh, articulation wise, you still have that shoulder. You get a little bit of elbow down since we pushed that uh, down. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's still cool. Okay, now Agamon uh, probably in a running uh, pose right there or something. Kind of looks like a duck with that uh, backside. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's it's nice. I like it. Uh, if you want, you can just probably uh, you know leave that claw on, so you have like giant claws. I guess that kind of works too. No, it, it's. 
kind of sad that we cannot open his mouth. Just, just no way without the chest cable that we have. It'd be cool though. Kind of make use of that uh, section, but yeah, I think uh, that's pretty much it for Agumon. <laughs> Overall, this is our a nifty gimmick that they have for transformation. Do I like it? Yes, I do like it a lot. And you know, I find it really cool that you can transform this, or vice versa. And articulation wise, is not too bad. Even on this mode or the other mode, so it works for me. I like it. And uh, more than likely, I'll probably get the, the the rest of them. But we'll see. Um, hopefully, the transformation works out like what we had here, and could be improved still. You know, covering all that cable. But yeah, I think that's it. Um, there's really not much I can talk about this. And, you know, there's no other accessories. So it's just mainly for the transformation, which is great. Anyways, that's about it for this review. If you got questions, let me know. Again, I got my from thoughts to a hobby. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching. Actually, <laughs> I always forget something. Some of you are probably wondering if you can put the hands together, and you can. Um, what else we got here? Put the feet up like this. You never know. Someone might be curious, you know, for this kind of pose. And you can. Get some giant chicken feet there. You can just have him uh, just chilling. You know, uh, extend out uh, this feet forward. So there we go. Can he go across his uh, leg like that? You know, maybe a little bit. Not sure if his arms are long enough. <laughs> but yeah, there there is some limitations, obviously, but yeah, I think it kind of works out. 